So in this problem, we've got a fair spinner, has sides labelled 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way up to n. The score on the spinner after a single spin is the discrete random variable x. Part A. Given that the probability of x being greater than 16 but less than or equal to 30 is 1 quarter, find n. OK. So... Um, we know that all the probabilities are the same, so this is a uniform distribution because it's a fair spinner. So, what I need to know is how many values we've got between the 16 and the 30 to represent the one quarter. Okay, so we've got 30, take away 16, and that's going to be equal to 14. So, 14 values gets us one quarter. So 14 times by 4 is 56. So there are 56 uh, sides to your spinner. OK. Now, we need to be a little bit careful with working out n here because it's not just 8 plus 56 because that wouldn't include the 8. Um, we would get one too many. So essentially, we need to do 8 plus 55 is equal to n. And so that's equal to 63. So n is 63 is what we want. Part B. The spinner is spun once. Find the probability of scoring at most 30. So the probability of x being at most 30 is less than or equal to 30. Now, we want to go from 8 up to 30. So that would be 30 take away 7. OK, now if you want to take away 8 and then uh, add 1, you can do it that way if you like. But you need to make sure you're including 8 in there. So 30 take away 7. And that's going to be over uh, n, which is, sorry, uh, over... Um, how many we've got, apologies, which was 56. So you've got to be a little bit careful with that. Almost did it over n. So that would just be 23 over 56. OK, right. Part C. The spinner is spun 20 times. Each spin is independent of the previous spin. Find the probability of scoring at most 30 on at least 15 spins. Now, this has turned into a binomial distribution problem. It's binomial now because we've got a fixed number of trials, which is 20. Uh, we've got the probability of success, so the probability of scoring at most 30, we worked out in the previous video. It's 23 out of 56. So we've now got a binomial distribution, let's call it y, where n is 20 and the probability of success is 23 over 56. Now we're told each spin is independent of the previous spin. OK, so binomial distribution, n independent trials. Find the probability of scoring at most 30 on at least 15 spins. So, at least 15. So we want y to be greater than or equal to 15. Now, on a numworks or Casio CG50, uh, you'd be able to work that out directly. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just going to be using the class whiz. So I've got one take away the probability of y being less than or equal to 14. OK, so menu number seven. I'm going to go to binomial CD. Go to variable. Uh, X, I want to be 14. N is 20. And the probability is 23 over 56. So that's one take away, 0.997787 So that's 0. Uh, 0, 0, 2, 2, 1, 2, etc. So 0. 0. 0.0022 to four decimal places. Okay, and that's the property I want to find.